In this video, I will show how to link Photon with uh, Abacus 2020. So, first thing we need to do is we need to install Visual Studio. So, just go to Google and search Visual Studio 2019, which is the latest one. So, you need to first you need to install uh, Visual Studio. Remember, first thing is to install Visual Studio before installing anything else. Uh, you can install Abacus, but first thing you need to install Visual Studio. So just go to their website, download it, and uh, after downloading, you'll, you will be able to select these files. You can install all this, but no need. Uh, for this, we need only C++ and Photon. So I'll be selecting uh, uh, the few options because it will unnecessarily consume the memory. So here you can select this, uh, the one which I have tick marked. Uh, these one you need to select the desktop development and uh, desktop development with C++ make sure it should be there so you can install everything but it, does, it will unnecessarily consume the memory so uh, just 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 make sure you have installed all these three all three should be installed and it will take some time after installation uh, you need to install the Intel API basic toolkit first thing is Visual Studio then Intel API basic toolkit just search in Google go to their website and download it from there I'll also attach the link from there so here you'll have an option to download both online and offline but uh, uh, I'll go online installation if your internet connection is good you can go with online installation if not then you can just download it and proceed with this so follow all this here online and offline option was there so I have selected online now download it and continue once it is finished it will start the installation there also you can customize the download no need to install everything if your PC if you have a desktop if you have very good RAM uh, then you can easily proceed with that but in laptop I prefer to, so just go custom installation and uh, do not install everything just go to cust custom installation first accept the terms and condition then you'll be able to use cu use to customize just check recommended installation and there is a custom installation so you need to select customize and select this first one is Intel API threading building blocks then the one which I have tick marked so, so total four you need to install you need to install only this four that will be sufficient no need to install everything but if your PC if you are using a desktop you can proceed with the other things so here my, I have the desktop so I have just installed the custom one and, but it will unnecessarily consume the memory and uh, yes just proceed the just 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 avoid these warnings and all no need to you know go through this initially I was also wondering that this is important but then I found out this these are not required just just proceed make sure you have installed Microsoft Visual Studio 2019 first job is to install Microsoft Visual Studio then Intel one API toolkit then uh, and there is another file I'll show you so once it is installed you can go to product see one tell one API toolkit has been installed next I need to uh, download the one API HPC toolkit same way search in Google you'll get the link for the download go to Windows from here select I have selected online you can select offline no issue or local then download it once downloaded click install these are the errors I am getting because uh, I have installed it previously you know so you will not be getting these errors so one API this is HPC toolkit previous one was one API basic toolkit this is HPC toolkit here also you can customize so select only these two you need to install no need to install other files if you just select these two this will be sufficient uh, yes these two is sufficient I have checked in it in my PC so you should also 
install only these two make sure you just install only Intel Fortron is clicked and one API DPC uh, these one I have selected I have installed everything because uh, my PC as I have told you I have desktop so I can go with that just proceed go to install products after it will not install it will take some time I have just uh, just to reduce the video length I have uh, given you some part it will take some time for installation after that you can go to this path environment variables and then you need to hear a two path see this this is the path you need to uh, enter uh, go to new and credit but I'll show you where is this path is available you'll get this in your PC so just you need to copy that path and uh, you need to just enter this over here I'm just navigating that path that folder when tell one API I'm just checking to make sure that the path is not wrong so these are the paths you need to go through it compiler yeah so this is the path you need to copy you need to go there click new and simply add it I've already added so I don't need to add it again so I'll, I'll be deleting it I've already added it I'm deleting because I have already added it and then they need to add another path this one I'll also navigate this path just to show you that uh, where this path is located You can directly copy this path and paste it I just want to I'm navigating just to show you nothing else I'm just checking I'm just making sure that the path is not wrong community then VC yes. VC angular build so this is the path you need to enter this path again here go to new and enter it I have deleted it because my I have already added that path click OK do not click cancel click OK I have cancelled because I have previously installed it so once it is done you need to go to the next step Uh, next step is to go similar commands here you need to edit this edit with notepad always edit with notepad notepad plus plus you can install so that it will be easier now you need to copy paste these three these three will not be there like this when you edit it for the first time like it will be like this so you need to paste it after the second line this is the command I'll be giving in the description you can simply copy it this for 2020 is uh, linking with Fortran and these are required so after pasting it just save it then uh, we need to edit another file I'll show you the file this is the path where you'll get the another file just copy that path and paste it on the navigation bar or you can uh, navigate from here This is how I have nav navigated that path. So once we get to that folder, we need to edit one more file. You'll have to just simply edit with with Notepad, install Notepad plus plus, and at the last line, just paste this line. When you open this, the, this line will not be there. Now we need to add one line that will be this initially I have deleted because I have added previously so you need to paste it this line simply as it is and save it that's all now everything is done you can simply verify it just open the command prompt and type this code Evercus info equal to system it will show you whether your photon is linked or not so
you can see photon compiler is linked also we'll run a test to check whether the photon compiling is working properly or not so here also you'll need to enter a code enter the code abacus verify then give a dash user then underscore then std enter this command so it will test then it will show you whether it is passed or failed so it shows pass that means your photon linking is successful now you can simply check this so i have created a model i have added a deload subroutine to check whether my photon is working or not i have added a deload subroutine and the subroutine is added here photon file and after the simulation is completed remember 2017 and 2020 photon linking is different if you link 2017 in the command prompt while opening the abacus it will show you that photon is linked but in 2020 it will not show you so that is why i am just checking so i have completed the analysis and i have checked see the this is working i'll show you the animation of the file deload subroutine so i'll just increase the speed little bit let us increase the speed more so the load is moving so you can see the load is moving so this is how i have just checked whether my photon code is working or not and uh, please subscribe my channel if you need new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you like this video please give a thumbs up thank you for tuning into my channel please don't forget to subscribe